वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 5.56 सो स्टेटमेंट इज ड्रॉ द शेयर एंड बेंडिंग मूवमेंट डायग्राम्स फॉर द बीम एंड लोडिंग शोन एंड डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस ड्यू टू बेंडिंग सो दिस इज बीम ए बी दैट इज सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम एंड देर इज अ पॉइंट लोड ऑफ 1600 पाउंड फ्रॉम दैट इज लोकेटेड एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ वन फीट फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड दैट विल एक्टिंग ऑन अ लेंथ ऑफ नाइन फीट the uh, cross section of this beam rectangular beam is breadth is 1.5 inch and height is 11.5 inch so draw the shear force and bending moment diagram and then determine the maximum normal stress due to bending so let's start with the solution so first step is that if you remove this reaction uh, if you remove this support so there will be a reaction force let like this is a if you remove this support so definitely there will be a reaction force that is point b so we will find a and b by using equilibrium condition so first equilibrium condition is that sum of all moment about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about this point one moment is due to this force 1600 and perpendicular distance is 1.5 and that will be in clockwise direction so it will be negative the other moment is that when this distributed load when converted into point load so it will be 80 into 9 and that distance will be this will be 4.5 clear and this remaining distance is 3 so total is 7 so 7 feet and this will produce clockwise rotation so it will be also negative the third moment about point a is due to this load b and perpendicular distance is this 12 clear and it is producing counter clockwise moment so it will be positive so their sum must be equal to 0 so i will write it 1600 into perpendicular distance is 1.5 that is negative and when this distributed load converted into point load so it will be 80 into 9 and the perpendicular distance from here till this end will be equal to um 7 7 uh this will be 7.5 because this distance will be equal to 4.5 clear 4.5 plus this distance is 3 so total is 7.5 so i will write it minus 80 into 9 into perpendicular distance is 7.5 plus b into perpendicular distance is 12 is equal to 0 so when you solve this you will get this b will be equal to 650 pounds and this plus sign means that force that is assume upward is correct now you can also find a by using equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and force support is positive so one force is a the other one is plus b the third one is minus 80 into 9 and fourth one is minus 16 their sum must be equal to 0 so i will write it a minus 1600 minus 80 into 9 plus b is b which is 650 is equal to 0 so again when you solve this you will get a is equal to 1670 pounds now we have both this force so we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so again what you have to do is that you have to take the vertical lines from the end of this beam and similarly here as well and the horizontal line that will show you the length x in feet you have here v which will be in pound v is the shear force okay now you can see that at point a we have 16470 so let we take each division is of 500 so this is 500 this is 1000 this is 1500 and 1600 will be about that, that and similarly this is minus 500 minus 1000 you can choose as per your own convenience so first point is uh, which is a that is 1670 so 
So if you locate it, let this is 1670 pounds. Now you can see that moving from point A till this load, there is no other force, so it will remain same. So shear force will remain same. Okay, now at this point you have minus one six uh, minus sixteen hundred, so it's one six seven zero minus sixteen hundred will be equal to plus seventy. So we will look at plus seventy. So let's say plus seventy is this point. So shear force will change from this to this. Now again moving from this to this, there is no other load, so it will remain same. So shear force will remain same like this. Again, now uh, you have, uh, you can see that you have a uniformly distributed load that is acting on nine feet. So 80 into nine will be equal to uh, 560. Okay, so 560, uh, 80 into nine is five. 60 okay not 560 so this is the point where i have 70 clear and 80 9 720 8 80 into 9 is 720 okay so 70 minus 720 70 minus 720 is equal to 6 50. So at this end B you have 750, uh, 650. So let 650 will lie over here for example. So what you have to do is that you have to meet these two lines. Because uh, you can see that this load is a horizontal line so shear force will be 1 degree higher. Okay now at the end uh, you can see this is 650 now you can see at the end minus 650 so at the end you have b is plus 650 so it will change to this so this is your shear force diagram now we'll draw the bending movement diagram so for bending movement diagram i will draw the horizontal line x will be in feeds you have movement that will be, that will be equal to pound into feet okay so first area under the shear force diagram is this one and this area is equal to 670 multiplied by this 1.5 feet and that is equal to 2505 so we will look at first point 2505 at a distance of 1.5 meter so let this is 1.5 meter and let each division is 1000 thousand two thousand and this is three thousand okay so two thousand five hundred five so let's say this is the point two thousand sorry this is the point two thousand five hundred and five so if i join it the, this will be the bending moment because you can see that shear force is a horizontal line so bending moment will be one degree higher now second area is this area which is equal to 70 multiplied by 1.5 and that will give you 105 so 2505 plus 105 will give you 2610 so we will locate 2610 for example 2610 lies over here at this point two six one zero so your bending moment will move like this now we have third area is this one and you can see this is a triangle but you do not know the distance where it the shear force is zero so what we will do is that we will exaggerate it so let this distance is x and this remaining distance from this point till this point this will be equal to 9 minus x because from here this total distance is 
नाइन फीट दिस इज नाइन फीट आई विल शो यू यू कैन सी दिस इज नाइन फीट सो हाउ यू विल फाइंड दिस एक्स सो दिस एक्स कैन बी फाइंड बाई इफ यू लुक एट वी हैव टू सिमिलर ट्राइंगल वन इज दिस वन एंड अदर वन इज दिस वन सो इफ आई टेक एक्स बाय सेवेंटी दैट विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्स नाइन माइनस एक्स बाय सिक्स फिफ्टी सो आई विल राइट इट एक्स बाय सेवेंटी इज इक्वल टू नाइन माइनस एक्स डिवाइड बाय सिक्स फिफ्टी सो फ्रॉम हेयर यू विल गेट एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट एट सेवन फाइव फीट एंड नाइन माइनस एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू नाइन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट एट सेवन फाइव विच विल बी इक्वल टू विच विल बी इक्वल टू दिस एट पॉइंट वन टू फाइव एट पॉइंट वन टू फाइव फीट सो दिस डिस्टेंस इज एट पॉइंट वन टू फाइव फीट एंड दिस डिस्टेंस इज जीरो पॉइंट एट सेवन फाइव फीट नाउ दिस एरिया is equal to this is triangular so this area will be equal to 1 over 2 into 70 into 0.875 and this will give you 30.6 so 2610 plus 30.6 will give you uh total 2641 which is the maximum bending moment so we will locate 2641 so let uh, at this point we have 2641 and since this uh, line is 1 degree line and slope is degree decreasing so bending moment will be a curve and it will be not a straight line it will be a in the form of curve okay and we will having uh, maximum bending moment is 2641 now will i will zoom out it okay next area is this area under the shear force diagram will give you bending moment and this area is equal to 1 over 2 into 650 multiply by 8.125 which is this distance horizontal distance and that will be equal to this area will be minus so it will be minus 2641 so when you add minus Two six four one. It will bring to zero. And since this shear force is a one degree line and slope is decreasing, so bending moment will be like it will be a like curve one, not a straight line. It will be a curve. This end will be at zero. okay so this is your shear force uh, bending moment diagram now uh, we know that maximum bending moment is equal to maximum uh, bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment absolute divided by uh, i and multiply by c okay so we have a rectangular cross section that is given over here this width is uh given as 1.5 inch and height is 11.5 inch okay so c will be equal to 11.5 divided by 2 because c is distance from neutral axis till the top most so this will be your c And C is eleven point five inch divided by two, uh, which is equal to five point seven five inch. What about I? So I for I for this rectangular cross section is equal to one over twelve B, which is one point five, and H, which is eleven point five Q. So when you solve this, you will get I will be equal to one nine zero point one. inch power 4 and from bending moment diagram bending moment diagram we have 
maximum bending moment comes out to be 2641 pounds into feet and we will convert it into pound into inch so 2641 multiply by 12 and the unit will be pound into inch and this value will be equal to 31690 pounds into inch now you have maximum movement you have i you have c you can just put it in this formula so you will get maximum movement is equal to bending stress is equal to movement which is 31690 multiplied by c is 5.75 divide by i is 190.1 and when you calculate it this will be equal to 959 psi okay so this is the answer of our this question i hope you have enjoyed this video and you are also learning from it those who are new to my channel i will request them to subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching